Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a LR Super Vegito, and it's coming in from Justin. But before I go ahead and read Justin's custom cards, send me custom cards over to BHF Custom Cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. So Justin says, hey, BH, I've been a big fan of the custom card videos and wants to throw my hat into the ring as we get closer to the 10th anniversary of Dokkan with a potential LR Super Vegito that could be released around that time. Uh, shout out to you for being a fan of these custom car reviews. I, hey, we'd love to see it. <laughs> thank you, brother. Um, so with that being said, thank you for sending your custom car, Justin. Let's see what we have here. So we have a 10th anniversary Dokkan Fest LR Super Vegito. So he is super tech and uh, his leader skill is uh, a 220% the stats leader skill too okay so his leader skill is final trump card pinnacle of strength that being his custom category and accelerated battle three key and one 90 percent across the board and the additional 30 percent of stats is going to be to boo saga or super saiyan so it's a 220 percent leader skill okay and uh, this is what the category is looking like you have the ninth anniversary gogeta you have the ssj trio um that being from the uh the Android 13 movie. We have a uh, STR Super Vegito as well as the Boo Tanks. Who else do we have? We have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Who else? Uh, we I know I saw Tech Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. I did skim through this category a little bit. Yeah, we have Tech Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Physical Kid Boo. Um, category looks looks all right. Looks all right. We have Ink Go Tanks. We have uh, Kefla. Um, who else do we have? I mean, could you still get some users out of God Goku? Possibly, possibly good. Um, but I mean, there are some bosses could hit too hard for him to actually be able to stack up and he has to reliably dodge, but Hey, um, God, Goku is, he's, he's still solid enough to run this team still, right? Because this is a 220% leader skill. Anyways, his 12 key, that being the limit breaking rush, he gets 50% attack and defense for one turn and he raises allies attack and crit chance by 5% for one turn. I like to assume. And his 18 key, that being the Big Bang attack, he gets 100% attack and defense for four turns. And he raises allies uh, attack by 15% and gives them 10% damage reduction. And that's going to be for one turn, I like to assume. So good super attack effects. And his passive, that being uh, you're pretty good, I almost felt something. He plays intro animation upon character entry. Once only, of course. And for C's enemy super attacks for the four, first turn. Nice. Five key and 60% damage reduction and guard for the first three turns from first appearance. Nice. And he has four key and 350% attack and defense in the start of turn. Very good. He has unrestricted 30% damage reduction. Nice. And he also gets a 10% damage reduction after receiving five more attacks in battle or after performing six super attacks. So the five attacks is going to be the one you're going to opt to to get that off easily. And he guards against enemy attack after receiving seven more attacks in battle. Uh, so you're going to have to take those hits at, so he can pretty much have that guard after his guard wears off within those three turns with his damage reduction, right? And and uh, that's also accounting for he receives seven attacks uh, or in battle or no, that's it. Yeah, he just gets his guard for receiving seven more attacks in battle. I thought he would have to do super attacks like he has to for his uh, damage reduction. Anyways, he performs two additional attacks that both have a 50% chance to come a super attack. Nice. And he gets 50% attack and defense per attack received up to 200%. So that's very easy for him to obtain. That's just four attacks. And can activate active skill when conditions are met. Can stand by when conditions are met. And he also gets two key per key sphere obtained. So two key per key sphere obtained. He foresees super attacks, damage reduction, guard good amount of attack and defense at the start of turn and it's very high but still good amount of attack and defense at the start of turn um he also has unrestricted damage reduction he also gets damage reduction after taking hits as well as him getting guard after taking hits so he can he can have his guard and damage reduction for within those first three turns just for him to uh take those hits to still get his guard and damage reduction back so after those three turns this guy is going to be sitting with up to 40 percent damage reduction as well as guard provided he takes those seven attacks and before that fourth turn, within those first three turns, he's going to have 60% damage reduction with guard anyways. So no matter how you see it, he's going to be defensively just fine. Yeah. And he builds up attack and defense very easily. It's just four attacks and he gets two key for keys to obtain. Yeah. I mean, builds up his attack and defense above very easily. Two key for keys to obtain. He has a pretty much... Both strong defensive mechanics to fall back on. Guard and damage reduction in the first three turns, as well as a guard and damage reduction after him uh, losing his 60% damage reduction, as well as his guard. Look at it like this. Within those first three turns, he's going to have 90% damage reduction, as well as guard. 
And then after those three turns, he's going to have up to 40% damage reduction with guard. So either way, he's looking pretty good. His super attack effects, I mean, he's getting an additional 10% damage reduction. So technically, after he supers, within that one turn, he's going to be getting up to 50% damage reduction. Now, granted, he didn't specify that it's only for one turn, but I like to assume that it's only for one turn. And of course, Master is an attack for his attack and defense for four turns is obviously strong. So strong super attack effects. And it's not just for himself, it's for the entire rotation. Yeah, I do got to count the fact that he's technically supporting. He's giving up to 20% attack, a 5% chance to crit, and 10% damage reduction to the entire rotation after he supers. So this guy's looking good. Looking good. No problems here. Yeah. Now, granted, could you say that he doesn't have enough stats inside his passive? I Probably, but I feel like his damage reduction and guard just makes up for it. Yeah, he did. Definitely could. You could make the case that it, that it makes up for it, for sure. So his active skill, uh, that attack was great. It really got my blood flowing. Can be activated. HP is 50% or above from the third turn from the start of battle. Okay, so very easy to activate. And uh, from that first active skill, he gets 20% damage reduction as well as 20%. No, no, that's not 20% attack. Oh my God, I confused this part of his card for this being 20% attack. So he gets 20% damage reduction as well as 170% attack and defense. And all attacks target this character and all his attacks are guaranteed crits. So guaranteed crits, attack aggro, high amount of attack and defense and additional damage reduction, strong. And that's pretty much for the rest of the battle because it's not assuming that it's one turn. It's for the rest of the battle. Strong. And a standby, that being the counter stance, can be activated if the character has uh, been targeted by an enemy super attack once only. So that should be very easy to get off, because in the fact that within the first turn, he proceeds super attacks, so you're going to put him inside the slot where the boss is supering, so he can very easily get his standby off. Or if you don't want to get that off within the first turn, boss is typically super inside the first slot. What a big surprise. So he's going to very easily get that off, even if he comes back onto the next rotation after taking that super attack, right? Uh, passive skill, that being uh, I've give you... Uh, it's not I've. <laughs> I'll give you <laughs> the count of 10 to attack. He gets 500% attack and defense. Cannot attack except for counters and the finish skill. Counters normal attacks and counters with tremendous power. He guards and also has 40% damage reduction as well as additional 10% damage reduction for keys to obtain. Strong. And he changes key spheres of a random type to rainbow, of course, excluding tech or AGL. And uh, he changes AGL to tech key spheres. And he stands by for three whole turns all right okay so the standby man all right so when <laughs> he has an active skill and a, a standby <laughs> there's no way that these guarantee crits i'm going to assume this the attacks that target the character this part of his card i like to assume is this entire active skill for one turn it's not really specified. I'm going to assume that's for one turn. But um, yeah, 500% uh, attack and defense, counters, guard, 40% damage reduction, damage reduction per key sphere obtained. He's a, a double orb changer, him changing key spheres to rainbow, as well as him changing AGL key spheres to tech key spheres, that being his specific type key sphere. I mean, come on now. 10% damage reduction per key sphere obtained while him already having guard and 40% damage reduction. He's a counter unit like ridiculous and his finish skill that thing being the final kamehameha raises attack temporarily and 30 percent attack per counter performed and all allies get 10 percent attack and defense for the rest of the battle self-excluded and three key and 20 percent attack and defense and 10 percent damage reduction for the rest of the battle bro <laughs> he just has damage reduction stats all over the place this card is good very good and his link set, that being Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Shocking Speed, Power Bestowed by God, Prepare for Battle, Fuse Fighter, Legendary Power. And his links in a standby will be Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Power Bestowed by God. Only thing that changes inside of his, uh, his standby? What changes in a standby? Nothing. Yeah, nothing changes in a standby. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Fierce Battle. Power bestowed by God, power bestowed by God. No, he loses shocking speed? For what? Yeah, because he has Golden Warrior. Uh, shocking speed is lost for Golden Warrior. Because 
There's no shocking speed in the standby. That's an L. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, cause Golden Golden Warrior isn't it just like a key and defensive debuff link? I don't quite remember. You have Golden Warrior. Let me just take a quick peek. I'm very certain you do. Also, if you guys heard my dog snoring in the background, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a key and defensive debuff link. That's that's ass. That's yeah, I think he's ass. Yeah. And his categories that he's on are Manja Buu Saga, Final Trump Card, Kamehameha, Fuse Fighters, Patara, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Wits, and Pinnacle of Strength. And uh, he gives an explanation for Pinnacle of Strength. It is a new category for characters that are the peak of strength in their respective sagas in Dragon Ball. And he puts Beast Gohan, Super Vegito, MUI Goku, Full Power Jiren, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, as well as Perfect Cell, etc. And for number two, increase leader skill to compensate for the approaching seven year easy ALRs. Okay. So standby, ridiculously strong. Uh, pre standby, ridiculous. He has active skill, standby, finish attack. Um, he's just him. Yeah, he's literally just him. So yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, send me custom cards over to bhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I can do your, your custom card. And as soon as possible, I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Thank you for sending your card, Justin. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Peace.